Good evening, everyone. My name is Adam Selsker. I'm the chairman of the Northampton Board of Supervisors and your fire chief. Welcome to the long-awaited groundbreaking of your neighborhood fire station in Holland. Please let me recognize some of our guests. Supervisor Barry Moore, Supervisor Dr. Kim Rose, Supervisor Paula Gasper, State Representative Wendy Thomas, who is a great supporter of public safety and a friend of the fire company, and representing Congressman Fitzpatrick's office, Kyle Mallander. Also let me recognize some of our emergency service partners, Chief Steve LeCompte and his crew from Northampton Police Department, Chief Jason Dowd and his crew from Trihampton Rescue Squad, and a surprise visit from our friends, Chief Steve Brooks and the folks from uh, Lower Southampton Fire Department. Thank you for coming. This new fire station in Holland, known to all as Station 73, replaces a station that was built on this spot in 1966 by the volunteer firefighters at the time. Holland was growing, even then, and credit to them for recognizing the need. Did you know that before this station, a fire truck was housed in a barn on Rocksville Road? The new Station 73 shows our commitment as a board to our primary function, public safety of the residents, businesses, and visitors. It is an investment in our community, an investment in public safety, and an investment in the safety of our first responders that will pay dividends for years to come. I can't wait for the open house next year when the station is complete. Thank you all again for coming. Thank you for the weather holding out. And I'm going to turn the microphone over to Dr. Rose for a few words. As a township supervisor, the health, welfare, and well-being of all our residents is most important to us. And to have this new fire station to protect our firefighters is a dream come true for us. So we are just so darn happy to be here today. Thanks, Dr. Rose. Uh, now I'd like to um, call up uh, Representative Wendy Thomas for a few words. I'm so honored to be here today to support the hardworking, dedicated, selfless, loyal men and women who serve our community 24-7, firefighting and performing rescues and doing so much more. They've been through a long two years with COVID and at one point we had a township resident, homebound couple, and we couldn't get them out for their vaccine. Our friends at the fire department came, helped us out, helped get that couple. A lot of people don't know all the other things that the fire company does to help our community. I think most of you probably know about the tragic, horrible accidents with the four Neshamity students. Our fire trucks were there working together with other companies to help those girls. They do so much. So we go to Harrisburg and we fight to get some resources for back home. We're happy to do it. We're proud to do it. We're very happy that we were able to get a million dollar grant towards the fire stations. And we hope that we'll be able to secure another RCAP grant. We were able to get two for the police department. I know the chief's happy about that. And I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to get two for the fire department. So we'll keep working and thank you for all your hard work. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for the help with the grant. That was phenomenal. Uh, next up, uh, Kyle. Sure, thank you. My name is Kyle. I'm here on behalf of Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. Uh, unfortunately, the Congressman's unable to attend today, but I just want to start by thanking the Supervisor Board and the Fire Department for allowing me to speak on the Congressman's behalf. Now, here in Bucks County, we have some of the finest first responders. So to all the first responders joining us today, uh, thank you uh, for your service to our community. Um, and our residents here in Bucks County, they want to know that when you call 911, uh, that first, the, our first responders will be there for them. And this fire station will do exactly just that. Um, and it's difficult today to be a firefighter. There's a lot of stresses, whether it's uh, the pandemic, uh, the constant threat of regionalizing, or the drop of membership. It is difficult, but I just want to let you know that we're here to support you all. Uh, so to commemorate this groundbreaking ceremony, uh, the Congressman had a flag flown over the United States Capitol that I would like to present to the Fire Department. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We'll be sure to fly that flag here. Uh, before we break up and uh, do the ceremonial groundbreaking, just a couple folks we'd like to thank. First of all, I want to call out the building committee uh, that from the Fire Department. Uh, that was Deputy Chief Rob Holmes, President Matt Skodowski, Al Gibson on the end, 
Bill Lockney and Ella McCrane. They're the ones that help uh, in the design of the stations. And then I also want to thank the folks at the township staff. Most importantly, uh, many people worked on it, but it was Bob Pellegrino, our township manager, and Bill Wirt, our assistant manager, for all their help through this process. And special thanks to Bill for helping to set up uh, today's ceremony. It's, it's no easy task. Thank you guys for all the hard work. And uh, without further ado, I think we'll step forward, take our shovels, and break ground. long-awaited groundbreaking of your neighborhood fire station here in Richboro. Please let me recognize some of our guests. Supervisor Barry Moore, Supervisor Dr. Kim Rose, Supervisor Paula Gasper, State Representative Wendy Thomas, who's a great friend and supporter of the fire company and public safety, and representing Congressman Fitzpatrick's office, Kyle Elder. I'd also like to take a second to recognize some of our guests uh, from the area. Uh, from Northampton Police Department, Steve Lacombe, Chief Steve Lacombe and his crew. Uh, Chief Jason Dowd uh, from Trihampton Rescue Squad and his team. And representatives from Newtown Fire Association, a very important partner, uh, mutual aid to us from next door. This new fire station in Richboro, known to all as Station 3, replaces the station that was built in this spot in 1964 by the volunteer fire. The fire station was located down the street where Dabowski Park is today. The new Station 3 will house our emergency equipment and be our community fire headquarters. You can expect to see many fire safety outreach programs here in the future. The new Station 3 shows our commitment as a board to our primary function, public safety of residents, businesses, and visitors. It is an investment in our community, an investment in public safety, and an investment in the safety of our first responders that will pay dividends for years to come. We can't wait for the open house next year when the station is complete and we're all here together again. Having said that, I'd like to uh, turn the microphone over to Dr. Rose for a few additional words. Well, I knew this was an important day, but obviously the TV stations know it too. Township supervisors, we care about the health, safety, welfare of all our residents and especially our firefighters. We are so excited to build this and it's such a welcome part of our community. Thanks, Kim. Next, uh, Wendy Thomas, State Representative. Thank you, Adam. I agree with Dr. Rose. This is very impressive. Uh, kudos to the township uh, organization for getting the media here in a big way. Um, I'm very honored to be here today to support the hardworking, dedicated, selfish, loyal men and women who serve our community. I think most people think of firefighters as there's a fire they come, but they do so much more than that for our community. They supported us during COVID in many, many ways. I mentioned it over at Holland. We had a homebound resident, couldn't get out for a vaccine, 
and it was actually the fire department that helped us. I also want to say the Northampton Rescue and the police, they also helped us with many of those things. All of our first responders after the last two years during the pandemic really stepped up to support the whole community. And while the fire company takes care of all of us, it's important that we take care of them. And so I'm happy to say that the state of Pennsylvania has invested a million dollars in an RCAP grant towards the fire stations and we actually hope we're going to apply for a second. We were able to get two for the police station so it's just right that we should get two for the fire department as well. So thank you for being here and thank you to all the first responders for all you do. Thank you Wendy and uh, Kyle from the dispatcher's office. Sure, thank you. So my name is Kyle, as I said, uh, I'm but uh, again, I just want to give a special shout out to all the first responders here. Uh, thank you for all you've done over the last few years and all you continue to do. And thank you for just continuing to serve our community. Um, so uh, just like the last ceremony, uh, the Congress had a flag flown over the Capitol uh, to commemorate that groundbreaking. Uh, so we, we also had another flag flown over the Capitol for, uh, to commemorate this groundbreaking as well. I'd like to present. Thank you. Uh, finally, I'd like to just recognize a, couple, uh, a few more people. Uh, the uh, building committee from the fire department, who um, spent countless hours putting these plans and helping us get this together. Deputy Chief Rob Holmes, President Matt Spadowski, Bill Watney, Ellen McCrane, and Al Gibson. Uh, they all worked tirelessly to make this a reality. And uh, I'd also like to thank the, the township staff um, that really spent additional hours working with us and have organized not just the buildings and the engineers and all the people, but even today's events. Uh, Bob Pellegrino, our township manager, Bill Wirt, who's out there taking pictures, uh, Lisa Russo, who's all the way in the back, who she makes sure that the things we forget, we do. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, I'm also just calling out uh, Public Works, Northampton Public Works, that was here to help us get set up. So with that, uh, we will take our ceremonial shovels and break ground for the new station. Thank you everybody for coming. Onward.